all right hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you I hope my voice is coming good please let me know if you have any problem from your side today our topic about women there's many articles made by Muhammadan speaking about women rights and those articles claim that Islam gave women their right long before anyone in the world including Western gave them their rights and by the way I mean this is must be true this is must be true I mean who can deny that Saudi Arabia just a few weeks ago allowed women finally to drive a car if her parents approve it to drive a car and even that is if if women driving a car more than a hundred years ago in the West when you read those articles made by Muslims about women giving their rights sometimes I feel like those people they love to make uh, fiction movies you see she is driving her car but even inside her car she have her to cover herself her head her face as if she is buried alive this is what I call to be buried alive I mean imagine right now in Saudi Arabia the temperature is almost 60 degree and yet you have to wear this now remember now we have air condition but for centuries nobody have air conditions for thousands of years so now the women in order to walk in the street she have her freedom but she have to wear those clothes you know wearing those clothes alone is is a reason to believe that women she is not free because this is a dress code it's not a choice you see in those countries it's not a choice to wear or not to wear and when I talk about countries I'm talking about countries who practice Islam not Muslims who live you know like just a few days ago I saw the Somalian congresswoman uh, who uh, was dancing with the gays and lesbian but this is not have nothing to do with Islam this woman she is just practicing Taqiyya so they will vote for her later and they will say oh she is a Muslim but she danced with us she don't care if we are gays and lesbian but if you ask her a serious question what do you think about gays and lesbian well she's a Muslim supposed you were in the hijab so what she will say in, if she said the truth about what she believe she will never win the election if she say that she loved them Muslims that you know they don't have a problem with that because they knew that she's lying for this is called taqiyya in Islam so when I saw this article here as we see in the front of us identity the website it's called the body uh, C online O O D C on Odyssey Odyssey sorry Odyssey online five rights Islam gave women before Western feminist movement gave them okay what are those five rights I'm really interested then you go down it says as an American Muslim woman who's worn hijab for upward eight years I heard I heard it all it come to the people blah 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 okay and then what is next the right for Muslim women to vote and look at the picture as an example for the right to women to vote how even the women she can see how she can see what she is voting for and where it says that one women they can vote in Islam can you show me a reference are you saying to me like women in Indonesia they vote this is because of the occupation who occupy Indonesia if it's about Islam if they practice Islam really they will never allow a woman to vote 
Do they vote in Saudi Arabia? Do they vote? I mean, where what Islamic what Islamic law it says women she can vote? When you speak about Islam, speak about Islam. Islam gave the women to vote where? How? Islam gave the women right to vote. Historically, Muslim women were politically active. They helped shape social rules and regulation. Women in leadership position are mentioned in the Quran multiple occasion. Meanwhile, in America, white women could not vote until 1920s, while black women could not vote until until 1960. You know, I wish you can show me. You see, when they try to fool you, it's mentioned many times in the Quran that women they can vote. Okay, I want to see where it says who is the Muslim want to make a challenge to show me where in the Quran it says women they can vote. I just saw it here in front of me. It says, Islam gave women the right to vote. Okay, where Islam gave the women right to vote? I want to see that. I want to learn it. The right to own a property and wealth. Islam gave the women half inheritance from a male. And Muhammad himself was wearing the clothes of Aisha, which is by the money of Khadija. Khadija, according to Muslim, she was a Christian. That's what they say. Yet she was a businesswoman, and Muhammad was working for her. So Khadija after Islam is better than Khadija before Islam? No. Where is the businesswoman of Islam after Khadija? Khadija before Islam was a businesswoman. Islam does not exist. Khadija is a businesswoman, and Muhammad working for her, which means the boss was Khadija. The right to own a property in the Middle East, we used to have a queens. Not only they own a property, they rule as a queen. They, they they are the kings of their countries. You never heard of uh, Cleopatra? You never heard of uh, the queen of Petra? You never heard of the queen of Palmyra? You never heard of the queen of Assyria? You never heard of the queen of 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 uh, uh, the per uh, Persia? If we go and we check what Islam says, you see here the whole article. It's funny and stupid. She did not quote for us one thing from Islam. All what she said to us: there is a woman she opened university in Morocco. What does this have to do with Islam? A woman she opened university in, in Morocco. What about you show me that your prophet says you should teach them how to write how to read I want to see that actually Aisha and Muhammad they agree that the prophets said that women they should not be taught how to read and how to write they should be taught only how to make food and how to make uh, 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 clothing and to read Quran not to read actually to recite Quran so look what they are saying to you there's a woman in Morocco, she opened university. But what does this have to do with Islam? And by the way, what kind of university it is? The Prophet Muhammad said, seek knowledge is mandatory on every, for every Muslim. Show me the hadith that says that. All those hadith are fabricated. The knowledge a Muslim he can seek only is about Islam. There's a hadith the Muslims they quote for us always they say the Prophet said seek knowledge even in China This is a fabricated hadith And as long as your Prophet said seek knowledge how come he did not teach himself how to write how to read mr. Knowledge So all the article they show us nothing Of what they claim it's just a claim about what? Uh, the, you know Islam do this Islam do that but show us where Islam do this or that We are stuck with this advertising. It's not going to move. The right to work or not? Okay, show me where in the Quran it says the work to work. You see, it just a, it's just an article. Islam gives the women the right to work. How she can go to work if she cannot drive? How she can go to work if she have to have a bodyguard with her? In Saudi Arabia, which is the practice in the true Islam, if a woman she walk alone in the street, she will be arrested. She cannot leave town. She cannot even leave the door of the house, open it without permission of the husband or the father. So what those people are talking about? The right to be in modesty. This is not modesty. Hijab have nothing to do with modesty. <clears throat> you 
you say we were hijab but you then you sell your daughter for 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 a temporary marriage you do one night stand marriage and she got paid for it so okay we wear hijab we wear longer clothes and then we rent our daughters for whoever afford it and then he throw it back after he use her and then we give it to the other guy and then he divorce her and the other guy and yet we call this marriage where is the modesty what about the prophet who order women to give their breast to any foreigner so as you see the whole article they did not quote for us one verse one statement coming from Muhammad let us see what Muhammad is saying and then we will discover if this is true or not Muhammad he says women are half a brain and not only half a brain they are the, the fuel of hellfire let us see This website start acting again. Hadith cannot be found. All right. All right. Let's see this one. That one cannot be found. We will find another one. This is what Prophet of Islam said about women. Do you see it? This is not me speaking. Let us make it clear text so you guys can read it I don't know how clear for you you can read it in your phone I hope so the Prophet of Allah said oh women women folks speaking specifically this is about women the women they have a problem in Islam what is the problem what is the problem so Islam gave women right let us see the rights they are the most inhabitants the dwellers of the hellfire this is the opinion of Islam in women Women are bad, women are disgusting, women are ugly, and women they are evil. This is what your prophet saying. When you say that the most people who will occupy hellfire are women, you are saying all those things about them. Hellfire in religious meaning mean what? Mean you are corrupt, you are false, you are bad, you are disgusting, you are ugly, you are evil. This is where this is what hellfire is for, for those people who they are extremely bad. So Muhammad saying a woman. You should give charity and diligent and seek Allah forgiveness because I have seen i.e. Hmm? in between two brackets by the way this is not existent the hadith I have seen that the most of you the most of people of hellfire are women so now if I'm a Muslim male God God forbid I'm not and I see my prophet saying that the most inhabitants of hellfire are women what is my view of women after I read this? What my prophet he just told me that women are evil, disgusting creatures. But yet they say to us that the prophet and Islam give the women their right. He just said women are evil. And then not only that, Muhammad he said. That women they have a lack of wisdom, they are stupid. Actually, here the translation is a stupid translation. He did not say that. He says, Naqisatu aqlin wa deen. You have half a brain and half religion. Okay, what is the half a brain they have? Here they translate as lack of wisdom. In fact, it doesn't say that. And Muhammad wanted to prove that women have half a brain. Half as a man, how we will prove that? He said, "Okay, didn't you remember I gave you a verse in the Quran who says that two women are equal to one man as witness?" Do you see it? And then, this is supposedly the deficiency in their intelligence. A woman, she said. What is the deficiency we have in our wisdom and in our religion? He said, you have lack of wisdom. Can be will judge the fact and evidence that two women are equal to one man. And then he says, because you have because you have administration days, you have deficiency in your religion. Have you ever heard of a religion? Judge the woman that she is a bad creature because she have administration. She have her period. 
and this is why she have a lack of religion she have deficiency deficiency in, in religion so they made an article saying Islam gave the women five things here we go the first five things we got from this story and by the way this is Sahih story so they cannot say this is weak and stupid thing hmm? what we learn from this things that Islam give the women the right to be described as a foolish woman, a human she is not equal to a human being full of human being she is a half a human being this is why Muhammad he proved that idea he have that women she is half a brain that two men to one two women sorry are equal to one man and this is from the Quran you have a lack of common sense you have deficiency in your religion you have deficiency in your wisdom and most of you you will go to hellfire so the first right a woman she own or she uh, earn in Islam that she is the devil and she is a bad creature and not only that Muhammad he say the clear things about women to the point he made them really the devil literally so Muhammad he said and I quote here this is not my statement that women she she come in the image of the devil and she leave in the image of the devil she is the devil actually according to Muhammad A person who respect women he will not say that because women is my mother how dare you to say my mother she come in the shape of a devil and she live in the shape of a devil what is her crime she is a female the man does not come in the shape of the devil and he live in the shape of the devil only women they come in the shape of the devil and they live in the shape of the devil why he claimed that the women she was walking in the street she made on the women it's not him getting horny the woman she's just walking she's not wearing even short skirt or anything she's just walking the street in the front of his house and that make her the devil so what she would do we bury them so he blame his sexual urge on the devil which is the women not because he himself is the devil So when they make article for you and you do not know anything about Islam, you know, okay, the article sound good, but she's only, you know, hey, do you know, brother, that there was a prime minister in Pakistan? She is a female, but this have to do with Islam. According to Islam, she cannot. As simple as that. Do you know, brother, that there was a prime minister in Bangladesh? She can, she became, but this is not, this is not Islamic. Even Muhammad he said clearly that a woman she should not give any position in government or to lead or to be a judge. In the Bible, we have women who they are judges, prophets. You can so you can search right now in Google female judges in the old testament, prophets, not only judges, prophets. No nation will be succeed if a woman she lead them. Why Muhammad do you think in such a way? Do you see it? Muhammad he heard the news in his time, in the time of Muhammad. The Persian, they choose a woman to be their queen. So while Muhammad was saying women are garbage, they cannot rule the Persian who they are not Muslim at that time. They are supposed to be pagan, kuffar, najis. They made their daughter of their king the queen. What Muhammad he said about that? Read it. When the prophet he heard the news that the people of Persia had made a daughter of uh, Kisra, the queen, he said, never will succeed such a nation as make a woman their ruler. Do you see it? So do you see how they lie to you? 
This is the opinion of Islam in the women. Women are stupid. Women, they cannot be rulers. Women, they are not equal to men. Women, and the Quran says you can beat them. Wadrubuhunna. Read with me carefully, please. We go in the Quran. And we find this. And by the way, always the Muslims, when, when they try to uh, translate for you any verse in the Quran, always they try <coughs> to hide how aggressive the Quran is against non-Muslim women and even children. This is the Muslim translation, not mine. Trying to hide the fact that women, she is not even equal to a dog in America. Because in America, if you beat a dog, you go to jail. If you don't believe me, you can ask any American and you can search the Prophet Google peace upon him. If you beat a woman in America, you go to jail. And if you beat a dog in America, you go to jail. In Islam, if you kill a dog, you don't go to jail. And if you beat a woman, you are a good man. So neither is it protected, neither animals, neither women. Actually, Muhammad himself, he says, kill the dogs. If you are a dog lover, and actually I love dog. Dogs are the best friend for a human. Hmm? What's wrong with dogs? Why we should kill them? He ordered the dogs to be killed. And then you will see a Muslim saying the woman she gave water to a dog she will go to heaven a thirsty dog suddenly suddenly uh, Muhammad became the Dalai Lama who, by the way who I find him very foolish and very stupid too suddenly Muhammad became Mahmata Gandhi but how he said that the one who gave water to the dog he will go to heaven but he ordered to kill the dogs. We go back to the Quran. This is how Islam view the women in Islam. Men are in charge of women. In which way? You see, Christianity says, says something similar, but not in the value. A man is the head of the house. Okay, what does that mean? The Bible explained. That the man should be is the leader of the house the same as a Christ the leader of the church but the man he should give himself the same as Christ he gave himself to his church so the man there in a position not to control to take advantage but to sacrifice himself for his family with love leaders of love and free will nobody has been ordered to follow Jesus free will the church is a free will in Islam no men are in charge of women because Allah has made the one of them excel the other because they spend of their property to support them so because look how humiliating that is because the man he spent some money buying you a panty then he have the right to strip you from your panty anytime he want he is the one who paid for your panty. So good women are the one is obedience. Why? Because they spend money on you. So where is the authority coming from? The women in Islam became like a prostitute. Why a woman who is a prostitute? She have to do the job she is hired for because she got paid. The guy he paid you for a service. You are a prostitute. Is a perverted man, he needs a service. A Muslim woman, 
she have to be obedient because simply <clears throat> she was paid and I'm not the one saying that it's in front of you so the good woman is the obedient in which way you are obedient blindly then it says and as for those who you may fear rebellion a Muslim here he lies he says to you oh what if your wife is a cheating on you don't you beat her my friend first of all this is not about cheating shame on you to lie this is about if you fear rebellion which means they did not even do rebellion and rebellion had nothing to do with the cheating a woman let us say you said your wife make some tea she did not move right away to do it this is a this is a sign of rebellion she's not acting like a slave who yes sir right now sir so what do you do you admonish them you scream at them don't do that again okay now maybe this was not enough still she is not too much responding to your order in the right in the way you want jail them in their rooms you see here it says banish them in their beds the fact it's about leave them in their room which means jail them in their rooms nobody talk to them private jail and scourge them and the Muslim man he can choose any of those he can scourge you right away he can admonish you right away or he can banish you in the bed right away which one it's up to him this is the rights of the man over the women he can jail you he can beat the hell of you and by the way in Muslim translation some of it says beat them lightly lightly have you ever heard of beating lightly where it says lightly I, who is a Muslim want to show me the word lightly in the verse Muhammad he says don't beat them until they break their bones obviously this is not lightly that's mean this is a very harsh beating actually Aisha and not me she witnessed that the most suffering woman is a believing woman maybe Aisha was a liar did I should say is that absolutely here you see a woman her husband did beat her until he made her skin a greener than her clothes and the one is reporting the story Aisha look what Aisha she said Aisha said I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. Who is the one witnessing that Muslim women are the most suffering? Aisha. Why Aisha? What the problem? Why you think Aisha that Muslim women is the most suffering one? You see, at that time, there's women who they are not Muslims. Aisha is saying a statement as a Muslim, as a wife of the Prophet. That look, I have not seen women suffering, women, not at this women, all the women, all the Muslim women suffering as much as the believing women. So all believing women are really suffering. Okay, what's happening? Look at her skin. It's a greener than her clothing. And if you read the story, Muhammad they took this took the side of the man who did beat the women. And this woman obviously she don't want to she don't want to sleep with her husband she married him so, so she can go back to a previous husband Muhammad he come with a stupid rule and here again this is abuse for women Muhammad he said if a woman she she was divorced by her husband she cannot go back to the same husband enter she sleep with a new man but this woman she have kids she want to go back to her family Muhammad he says no you have to have sex with a new man and this is again abuse to women because now you are forcing this poor woman who have no guilt except she been divorced by her husband which means the, the guy the guy who divorced her is the one guilty now in order she go back to her children she have to sleep with a new guy so she married this guy so in order to go back to the previous husband that's all the story Muhammad he says no you don't let him sleep with you or rape you well he can beat you and he said to her if your intention to go back to Abdul Rahman well you should know you said he said if your intention 
if that's your intention, what is intention? To go back to her previous husband. That's why she married a new man. She didn't want to sleep with him. Muhammad, you don't agree. He have to have, he have to taste your juice, not intercourse only. She he have to, 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 to taste your sexual sexual juice, which means you have to make him happy to the end. And then after that, he divorced you, and you can go back to your previous husband. So women here, she is getting beaten. She being raped, and she been forced to be raped by a stranger in order just to go back to her family. And they say to us, women in Islam, they get their right. Hmm? So what we learned in the last 30 minutes that Muslim women they are according to Muhammad Muslim women or women in general They are stupid half a brain filthy dirty Disgusting they come in the image of the devil. They live in the image of the devil We can beat them until we make their skin is a greener and most of women they will go to hellfire And yet Muslims they are making articles saying that Islam gave women their rights? Women in Islam, they used to have the full right of inheritance before Islam. After Islam, she became half. Half a human, half a creature in everything. In the money, inheritance, in the right, in witnessing. And by the way, Muslim women, she is not allowed to witness in any capital punishment. So what women they are allowed to witness? Women they are allowed to witness only in the case of borrowing money. In the case of murder, she cannot witness. In the case of theft, she cannot witness any anything. Only in the case of borrowing money, a woman she can witness and she cannot if she is alone. Let us, to make it simple, If there's if you borrow money from somebody and there was 10 million women witnessing that you borrow the money their witnessing is not accepted unless there is additional man at least one man with them at least chapter 2 verse number 282 this is the only place where women they can witness two women equal to one man and those two women they have to be of your choice which means even those two women they have to be pre-approved not any women because generally speaking women in Islam are stupid so you have to get the best of the women so they can witness otherwise not every woman she can be with so two women and one man at least in the case of borrowing money what if the case of the murder even if there's 10 million women and they saw a man killing a man they are not accepted as witnesses even if they are 10 million women and if you don't believe me go and check go and read the tafsir for this verse why and look how the quran Look how the Quran give explanation why. So if one of them err, the other one will remind her. Okay, hold on. So Muslim, they, and just to show you how stupid this logic is. So what is the reason two women, they have to be witnesses equal to one man? Because obviously women, they have a problem in their brain. So the other women will err. But let me show you how stupid this statement is. Obviously, the man who made this statement is a donkey. And how we can prove that? Focus on me, please. I will use my limited English to explain. And I hope it's going to be enough for you to understand. If women, they err, they are stupid. Hmm? Let us type here the word, the letter W to present women. W. All right. Where is the letter? Nothing showing up in the screen. Huh, I don't know what's wrong. 
let me turn the program this is a program I bought just for this purpose so we can type in the screen and we can draw Look like it's not functioning mm -hmm. what happened let us try a different method okay so let us say we have this is a woman and women are according to Muhammad are foolish so we will say fool okay so as long women are like this so what the point of saying to women because the second woman she would be a fool too so what the point of having two fool so the first fool will be corrected by the second fool are you getting my point guys it's white on my screen oh, yeah it's white oh, yeah, you're right you get, guys do you, do you get the idea if if the first one is a fool what what is the reason to have a woman two women because woman is a fool okay wonderful this is what the idea of Muhammad not me don't think I'm saying wonderful woman is fool so as long the first one is a fool well the second one will be fool too the third one will be fool the fourth one will be fool the seventh one will be fool because all of them at the end of the day are women so what the point you know what I'm saying as long they are a bunch of fool so what the what difference is going to make if we make them 10 witnesses equal to one man or one <laughs> so the one who come with this rule he's a fool not the women and actually women are very smart I once I, I visited a, a relative of mine and you know like I, I, I wore a, a suit I, I hate to wear suits by the way and I went and I visit her I have a, like a business meeting so I have to wear a suit I have no choice after I finished she's living far away in different cities so I went to visit her and then she said to me you know what I don't know that you're cheap I said why what what, what are you talking about she said this is the same suit you wore last last year <laughs> Me, myself, I'm the man I did not remember I wear it last year when I went to see her. But she remember what I wear a year ago. Women, they are a lot better in memorizing things, especially when it's come to things happening around us. Go to a party with your wife and let us see, as the man what he ate, he will not remember. The women, she will tell you what everyone was wearing, what the perfume they have, what the hair is style, even what the brochure they have, or the, the what they call it, the things in, 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 in their dress, the necklace, the rings. She will tell you all details. You will never, you as a man, even think about it. So women, she can be a better witnesses because she can give details a man, he will not even give attention to it. So based in the story of Muhammad, women are fool and they don't remember. But this is absolutely false. This is absolutely false. I have a mother. She knew the Bible from the first word to the last. And I challenge any bishop in anywhere in the world to recite the Bible as she do. Just say to her a sentence. She will recite the rest of the Bible for you to the end, not to the chapter. I cannot do that. And not only she recited, she can explain it to you as you never heard before. And no bishop can dare even to discuss the Bible with her. He will lose. So how you are talking about women? So what Islam made us believe that women are stupid. Women are not, they, women, they are not even second class. And women are made just for sexual entertainment. What is the duty of a woman in heaven too? Not only in earth, women are not respected. Even in heaven, she is nothing but a sexual toy. To the point, Muhammad, he says, that Allah will give you a lot of them. Why is that? Why the man will have a lot of them? What about the women? She will have a lot of men too. No. Because women is a created for the man for sexual entertainment in Islam. 
So my friend, they can make all kind of articles about Islam. Like as an example, the Muslim, they have uh, uh, articles about Muslim scientists. Muslim scientists, brother. But what you don't know, that those who they call them scientists, all of them either executed, terminated, chased, jailed, tortured, because they accused them to be ex-Muslims. Al-Jahiz, Abu Ala Al-Mu'arri, Al-Muqaffa, Jabir ibn Hayyan, Al-Kindi, all, all the names. All of those, they suffer badly because of Islam. And now, the Muslims, in order to be proud, they mention their names for you. But those are not Muslims. You call them kuffar for the last 14 centuries. You torture them, you kill them, you chase them. You teach your sons, be careful of their books, don't read their books. But when they speak to Western, they say, you see, this guy is a Muslim. And then, yeah, okay, I believe you, he's a Muslim. Yeah, a jihad is a Muslim. All right? So, to make it simple, Islam cannot be made great by writing an article full of fabrication. Islam, what Islam teach. Not what I do, not what you say. Let us say I'm a Muslim and I am a doctor, famous doctor. What does this have to do with Islam? We have hundreds of millions of Christians who they are very successful. Writers, authors, women, men, doctors, scientists. And nobody can beat us in that number. But we don't say that this is a Christianity. What does this have to do with Christianity? There is a scientist who is, it happened that he's a Christian and he discovered the electricity. Is that a Christianity? No. What does it have to do with the Christianity? Who is the one who made the internet for you? Who is the one who made the electricity for you? Who is the one who discovered the computer for you? Who is the one who come with the phone for you? Who is, who is, who is, who is? But nobody, you wouldn't want to see, we don't even see a Jew says, do you know how many Jewish scientists? This is Judaism. Because of Islam, Turkey was the most savage country ever in the world. And until now, actually, nothing much changed. Erdogan, he have tens of thousands are jailed and disappear. Savage. Iraq is no better. Syria is no better. Saudi Arabia, don't even mention it. Kuwait is horrible. Qatar is disaster. Emirat, the prince will go over your body with his truck. Which countries? Where is where is the where is Islam? Where is Islam which make uh, life is better? Afghanistan, where they throw acid in the face of a woman, she show her face. Actually, they are doing even that in London. So they make articles to fool you, and that will be back to you. If you are a fool to believe or not so the fool will believe articles are very easy to write I can corrupt the history I can corrupt the facts and I can change what is right to be wrong and what is wrong to be right so don't be fool my friend and I'm not going to stay longer with you today so you can download the video and share it with your friends I want to say thank you for everybody today I made the video in different timing so we can reach out to different uh, uh, many people they don't finish their work by the time we start doing podcast so I decided today to go a little bit late and maybe later I will go again if I can so I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam you can read my books from Amazon they been in your country you can search my books in Spanish French Swedish German and for sure English and Dutch so just search in your Amazon Amazon of your country and you will find my books and you can get them. I want to say thank you again and may the Lord bless you and until we we'll see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false and articles will not make such a cult, a good cult. At the end of the day, the truth will be exposed and everybody will know. Thank you.
Thank you.